Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to your God, glory to you. Always before me, and here you are, my sin, what 
making supplication for all the saints. And also for me, that I have been given me and opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. And I may declare boldly as I ought to speak. Now that you may also know how I am and what I am doing, take your fist, the beloved brother, and faithful minister in the Lord. We'll tell you everything. We are sent unto you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are, and that you may encourage your hearts. Please be the brethren in love with faith, and that the brethren of the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who follow our Lord Jesus Christ, with love on your heart. He is filled with earth, with song of your Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Happy the man who hears the Lord and brings the great delights in his comments. Gospel. 
I wrote a term paper on this gospel when I was an undergrad. <laughs> but we won't go into that. The verse that strikes me to this morning is, Blessed shall you be when men hate you, when they ostracize you and insult you, and proscribe your name as evil because of the Son of God. On the day that they do so, rejoice and exult, for your reward will be great in heaven. I have known Christians in my life who, rightly enough, take the insults of others, the hatred of others, as a sign that they're doing something right. That they're following Christ. In other words, when they they experience this insult, this hatred, they say, well, that's just because I'm following Christ. And Christ says, Blessed are you when men hate you and they insult you because of this. Right? And it is true. If we follow Christ, we will be rejected by the world as Christ was. Following Christ means ending up like Christ, rejected by the world. But, but an important part of this verse to notice is the words, because of the Son of Man. Because of the Son of Man. Sometimes people hate you and ostracize you and insult you because you're a jerk. Not because of the Son of Man. Maybe you speak the truth, but maybe you don't speak the truth in love. Maybe you don't speak with kindness, with patience. It's not enough to speak the truth. It's essential to speak the truth. It's not enough. Go beyond speaking the truth and speak the truth in love, out of love for people. Not use it as a way to score points, show people love, this sort of thing. Sometimes that's what's going on, sometimes. Not always. Sometimes. When a Christian is being ostracized, insulted, hated, it's not always because of the Son of Man. Sometimes it's very often because they're failing to act in imitation of our Lord in one way or another. So we just have to be careful. That's all I'm trying to say here. We have to be careful and discern carefully what is meant here and not use this to just deflect all criticism as if none of it could have any point. You know, sometimes we need to grow. Sometimes uh, the criticism that comes from other people is warranted, you know, and we need to stop and think, you know, and, and use it as an opportunity to grow more like Christ, more like him, because it's, it's in fact that we haven't been enough like him. So let's just careful, be careful and discern whether, when you do experience insult, hatred, ostrac being ostracized, that alone does not identify us with the Savior. It's when we experience that because we're following him that we're we're martyrs. You know, this is what a martyr is. A martyr is someone who is killed because of their faith. <coughs> Not just someone who is killed. Suffering persecution or death at the hands of others is a terrible thing. Uh, it can be your cross, in fact, without being necessarily martyrdom. Maybe they're attacking you to, to take your money. Well, that's a terrible thing. But it, it's not they're, not, they're not attacking you because of Christ in that case. So the church makes that distinction. People who are, are murdered for other reasons are not considered to be martyrs. Even for saints, they're not called martyrs unless they're killed because of their faith, because they're following the cross. Um, this is an 
important distinction there to be made. Glory to Jesus Christ. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty God, our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis of Rome, and for our most reverend and Father William, for our God the English elder, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all our covenant and for all Oh, 
And the good spirit of your grace may rest on us, on these gifts, your presence, and on all your people. Grant this to the mercies of your only begotten Son, to be my beloved, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Holy are you, Lord, only you 
and guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us be seized, O Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us be seized, O Lord. For what is good and beneficial of our souls and our peace in the world, let us be seized, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us be seized, O Lord. For a Christian, painless and ashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account for the fierce and judgment seat of Christ, let us be seated for the Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for our communion of the Holy Spirit, let us submit ourselves and our hearts and our lives to Christ our God. I want to stay with the Lord. Do you know about the love of us all in our whole life? And we implore for a hand of you, take us worthy to our face to the conscience of your heavenly lost and mysteries. From this sacred and spiritual table, may it bring our remission of sins, pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. And may the Spirit be a that we may have confidence without condemnation. Therefore, you, Father, God of heaven, and
Behold, this has touched your lips and will take away your enemies and cleanse your sin. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance.
Oh, my God. 